Hello and welcome to Roads of Rome, episode 3, level 6. Let's get started. So this level is pretty different because um, it seems to be going pretty slowly uh, and it seems like you're not going to make it, but then you do make it with plenty of time. So uh, yeah, kind of a, a bit of a roller coaster ride, I guess. So I'm not really sure, like I said, this is a strategy that will work if, you know, potentially it might be better to upgrade the sawmill instead of the camp, but whatever. Um, we need some gold to get this fallen tree, and there's nothing else to do, so we might as well get it now. But I'm going to get the bushes before the fallen tree because they are renewable. And then this clock does not respawn. So I'm not going to push really hard to get it. Um, I think we do want to upgrade the food before we go across the bridge. And um, also, like, just keep these guys busy. I could be getting the gold too. It's fine. Um, but I would need to wait for the food to spawn before I upgrade it, so... Well, now I have enough for the bridge, but... Yeah. So you always need to keep... There's a lot of earthquakes on this level, too, so... Just keep enough um, wood. You need a lot of wood on this level. It, like... Um, just... Uh, like, it's constantly not going to be enough. Maybe because I did a little logging this time it'll be better, but maybe this time will be different. Uh, yeah. Oops. Don't, don't bank on it. <laughs> and if I have enough, I might be able to just upgrade this twice in a row. Yeah, it looks like I do. Five. This will probably be ten, so we can do both. Um, the... Roads now cost five stone, so it does also take a lot of stone, but, you know, like in a lot of levels, um, gold is the big holdup. So I think I'll get the storehouse before I upgrade these again. Yeah. But I think we need a next level camp before any of that. And, as you see, I'm out of wood to do basically anything. Um, but there's things to keep us busy. Yeah, there's a lot to do. We don't really need a level 4 camp on this one. And with the limit on wood, uh, it's probably not worth building it. So yeah, oops. Oh, be quiet, bear. <laughs> um, my parents had a dog named Bear, so saying "be quiet, bear" to me reminds me of that dog. Sweet dog, little schnauzer, little tiny schnauzer named Bear. Um. Name did not match the personality at all. Oops. Why can't... Oh, I'm still short on gold. Okay. Ah. Uh. So yeah, you gotta be... You just try to keep some wood in reserve if you can, but it's gonna be hard on this level because of the constant earthquakes. Um, that's why you would need the reserve. I mean, that's what the because means there. Um, okay. Let's see. What's better? Is it better to do this again? Probably. And yeah, I will try to be strategic about the hammer, even though... Oh, okay. Uh, okay, never mind. I guess I don't have enough gold for that anyway. I mean, I will in just a second, but this is fine. Uh, okay, yeah, and I did forget about it. I was just talking about the hammer and completely forgot about it. Um, let's get that. We need these. And like 
that. Um, and this. You can now build a balloon tower. Balloons will help your workers travel across chasms. All right. So I make this Roads of Rome series because when I was first playing these games, the whole series, not just Roads of Rome, but other games like it, um, there were really not good videos out there. There were videos, but they didn't have any talking. And you know, it's just a lot more fun to watch a video that has talking. See, I have zero, literally zero wood right now. So um, I started making this, uh, even though I knew it wasn't like a super popular game, just to have like a better, um, something better to watch on, on this game and this kind of game. So, you know, I hope people enjoy it. Oh, I need to get those crystals because the it's like really slow to go across the balloon. Okay, so we're going to save our gold for a minute. And as I said that, I almost went and tried to fill in this crack, but I don't have enough gold to do that. Um, yeah, it looks like there's enough wood. So at this point, yeah, I probably could upgrade the camp, but why? I think we'll be fine. So that's three. Okay. We can do all the gold things now, except for pick up the gold. And if I had four workers, I could pick up the gold. So I'm going to wait, because this will make them run back faster. Okay. I don't know why I did the food first. Okay. Uh. Uh. Mean old gold stuff. Okay, and now we don't need any more. But stone, yeah, we have enough stone. We have enough everything. So we'll just focus on building this road as we can. And then we'll do other stuff. So keep one in reserve, which is what I always say, so that they're ready to go when the last segment becomes available or the next segment, depending on where you're at in the map. If you have all of them out, they can't go fix the road. So, all right. Another gold flag finish. So as you can see, it, when you're playing it, it feels like there are times where there's just nothing for your workers to do, but you get there. So they give you plenty of time on this level, I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.